Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is week 32. Monday I had classes, and then I made some pudding because I super miss making things and putting something you can make in a dorms. Uh, but then I had rehearsal with the seed partner, and then afterwards I ended up going to a spontaneous secret unknown event at YouTube Space LA and I had no idea what to expect. I was just I just got invited to go to this thing and I wanted to see what it was. So I ended up going and I had no idea but I was sitting outside and waiting for the event to actually start because they weren't allowing people in yet. And you know I just kind of did the casual Snapchat, oh I'm at YouTube, oh I don't know why I'm here. And I swiped to the left, yeah I swiped to the left and there is a geo tag, geo filter, geo whatever you want to call it, that said Smosh Squad Secret Meetup. And like the world just kind of slowed down for a second. Like, wait, what? <laughs> That's what this is? And it's so cool. I was really, really excited because I've been watching Smosh videos for quite a long while. My brother introduced me to those like years, years, years ago, and it was a long time. So it was really cool to be able to be like, oh my gosh, this is cool. So it was not Anthony and Ian from Smosh were not there, but it the entire Smosh squad group were, and it was so cool because we got beat the ball and everything, but more about that soon, not quite yet, because another thing I have to bring up in great discussion is the fact that uh, we still had like about like an hour and a half before actually being allowed into the building. So uh, I ended up deciding with Ava that we were going to go on over and go to just walk out over to Chick-fil-A because it wasn't too far. I mean, I didn't think it was. But like, okay, we're just going to walk to Chick-fil-A and get something to eat. And so we went to go do that. And another girl who was waiting in the line with us decided to go as well. So we all went, made a friend. It was fun. And we hung out at Chick-fil-A, just got the food, and then Ubered back in time so that we could get there when it started. But we got there with perfect timing, and the event was so cool. It felt like being, like, in a, like, in the making of a major YouTube video. It was, it was really, really cool. And then when I got back later, my homework assignment was to post the Celestial Society pilot and since it was done and ready I ended up posting it. So I posted it about like 11.30 at night but it was up, it was cool, I kind of just refused to post anything extra about it until the day after but I was just happy to have something up. Consciously so, wait can I like wiggle this over so? Hello. Hey. Yes. Are we friend. Hello. Yes. Your friend, what's your name? Bethany. Nice to meet you, Bethany. <laughs> Smosh Adventures. And walking the ship boy. Chick-fil-A is always worth it. Yes. Yes. Got all those people. So many people. Oh, hello. Guys, this is amazing. Thank you, so JD cool. and Stephanie. Yes. You guys are amazing. You. Follow them at Red Carpet Great. Report <laughs> on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> Video bomb. Yeah. I had radio and then I took a math test and then I went and picked up my yearbook here which I was really excited for and I had lunch and I was going through the yearbook and realized that I was cropped out of a photo and my name is in the back. And that is the extent of how much I am in this year's yearbook. Uh, honestly, I just think it's kind of weird. It's a little sad because I mean like I still do a lot but I just wasn't in the pictures I guess or there weren't pictures or I don't know. So yearbook wise for me, it's fun to look through that, but like personal yearbook, like my moments, like they're all captured here. So YouTube is like my yearbook and they'll just keep collecting. So I think that's really cool. But it was still fun to look through my yearbook and get excited about getting people to sign it and everything. So then I started figuring out what my scheduling was going to be for registration, all that chaos at work. and. And then it's just working on all sorts of different edits, like book edits, video edits, like uh, edits of posts to promote for Celestial Society and see how that's going and all that good stuff. And then afterwards, I had a spontaneous gelato run later on that night to a gelato place just like right off campus and it was fun, so yep, that was On Wednesday, I had classes and then I ended up going to Burbank. Now, the thing is, is while, yeah, 
So I went to Burbank to help film for an event. But as it turns out, that was also around the same time as my registration. And registering for classes is a nightmare. Uh, I'm going to t probably talk about this every semester, so get ready. But I only hope it'll get easier, but it's been kind of crazy and kind of just, ugh, I, nope. Uh, but so I brought my laptop with me because I was like, all right, whether I'm struggling back at the school or I am struggling over here, it won't really make a difference. As long as I have Wi-Fi, as long as I can connect to the internet and get classes, that's what matters. So I took my laptop with me and uh, when we got to Burbank, we first went to Lemonade because there's a lemonade there. I got really excited. There's like plenty of time before the event. So uh, we went there for a bit and then afterwards walked across the street to a Starbucks and I used their Wi-Fi to get ready. And like 30 minutes before, I was like just waiting for the time to change to the moment where like everything was open for classes to take and the time hit. The time went. And long story short, I could not get in. So I ended up calling and sending emails back and forth with everyone on campus who was helping with registering and advisors and everything and be like oh my gosh this is what's happening i mean i don't think i said it like that but it was very frantic and very crazy and i had a very short amount of time between when we had to get to the other event versus when i was actually in starbucks so uh i was trying to get my classes like 10 minutes 15 minutes after it was supposed to open for me, I couldn't get in. And the thing is, is there's only so many spots. And then once those spots are taken, for your time slot, you can't get what you need. And it's hard enough to know what I need in the first place right now. So yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of things were just really closed, but eventually got into the Uber after Starbucks and then I set it up through my phone for the internet. And then I just kind of went through and I was like literally so upset because we were passing by Warner Brothers. We were passing by like just wonderful Burbankiness that I wanted to look at because I'm not there that often. And I couldn't because I was just like frantically trying to explain like how crazy everything was and it was pretty, pretty scary. But I got classes. My schedule had kind of sucked but the more I looked at it, the more I realized it wasn't that bad. And I finished it in time when we got to the event. I'm like, well, this isn't that convenient, but it's it's decent. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I get to the event. It was really, really cool. Uh, there's the carpet set up, and it got to go. And just, we filmed a bunch of great interviews. Got to see a lot of people. And then afterwards, got to go walk around during the actual thing, which was cool. It was the Tubathon event. So that was also partially the reason why I really want to go because, you know, anything YouTube related I have a tendency to know about. I wasn't ready to be done yet. Okay. I haven't had enough attention today, apparently. <laughs> I'm an actual potato, but like... So then later on after Tubathon, we ended up going to a wonderful place I love called Crave. Uh, it was kind of close by, so we were like, all right, we'll go, and it was really good. I got, what did I get? I think I got a parfait and a smoothie, because that's more in a like, lighter breakfast kind of. It was late, honestly. If it was any earlier, I'd probably have coffee or something, but I didn't want to be up all night, so I have to not to, but still, it was a fun place to be, and then we just got back. That was my Thursday, I had my morning wake up call. I got ready and went to math. I just got a lot of stuff done after that. I was being pretty productive, which is good for me. Uh, but then I just got so outrageously tired and so outrageously out of it. So uh, I was just like a little drained. Like I was so productive and then like I hit my point where I could not do anymore. Uh, but I still had work. So I went to that and then I went on over to Coffee Bean to pick up a little iced latte to make up for the fact that I was really tired. And it ended up being a regular hot latte actually, but anyway. I had my uh, acting class later that night and it went well and that, that was my Thursday. Friday I had classes and in my rhetorical arts class 
there were free Krispy Kreme donuts, which is exciting. And I had the allergy, and then I had lunch, and then I kind of just went back to the room for a little bit. And I was just working on some scene editing, all that crazy fun stuff. And then I went out over to Calm Table, and then they were having a event where there were puppies on campus, which was exciting because I got to play with dogs for a little while. So they let everyone just like, there was like hot dogs, like normal dogs, like that sounds weird, but you know what I mean. And we just sat down, we got to play with the dogs, and they were so cute and so fluffy, and it was just 15 minutes of just happiness with a bunch of little puppies, so it was a lot of fun. I left that, and then there was this absolutely gorgeous sunset. I mean, there's always great sunsets here, but it was just exceptionally wonderful that night. So I took just a ton of pictures and footage and everything, and it was a really great moment. So then I procrastinated until I ended up taking a shower and went to sleep. On Saturday, I got to sleep into 11, which was a beautiful, wonderful, happy thing in my life that I was so excited about. And then I worked on some homework, some editing, you know, a whole lot of not moving around at all, and then some YouTube, and I was just crashing because it had been non-stop going for like this entire time, so it was a nice little break. And then I made some jello, and then I worked on more editing. Then I got some pizza, and then I watched some more Netflix, so... And eventually I just took a shower and went to sleep. And then on Sunday, it was early morning and I got ready, and I went to the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Uh, there was an event going on there, and got some more filming done, got to walk around for a bit. It was pretty cool. Uh, there was like some weird mic issues at first, but we were able to fix that, which worked out pretty cool. And then afterwards I came on back, we decided to go to Calm Table for a bit, and then I went to the uh, the Lion's Den, which is the campus cafe, if you don't know what this place is. But yeah, so I ended up uh, saving up points so that I could get this mug, so I ended up getting this mug, and it's really cool, so I got a free mug through that. And I was talking to someone else for a while while I was there, which was really fun, and just working on writing and homework and all that chaotic fun stuff. And then I came back to the room, I worked on some more homework and such, and then I watched Once Upon a Time, and eventually I got to sleep. So that was week 30. Do check back for week 33 coming out soon, and thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you if you happen to be in this video. Leave a comment below saying something fun that you did this past week. That's it for this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!